hi 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 welcome to joy Fido international my name is joy Fido and welcome on board so what it is is you know what joy Fido international stands for it's all about the mind development academy and what we have decided to do is share our experiences of life with you why do we want to do that because we've understood over the years that whatever makes us who we are starts from our mind and there's nothing you're going to be able to do in life that you're going to achieve without understanding how to work with your mind but it became a big thing for me i've i've taken years and years to try and understand how our mind works it is from our mind we make decisions. It is from our mind we get ideas. It is from our mind that we take actions. So that's why I've devoted what I call Jafido International, where I call it Mind Development Academy, into understanding the mind. And once I'm getting good ideas and I'm getting how it's going, I then come and share it with you. Okay, so what I'm gonna be sharing with you today, it's about books and i call it my book haul you know how people go and buy clothes and they just go crazy buying various fashionable clothes and they get a house full of it and they come online and they go this is my fashion haul or my clothes haul and all of that i am going to do that with books today because I, I i just want you to start understanding the value of reading so I call it the power of books, the power of books. And of course, it's my book haul. And I've done quite a lot of videos on personal development where I show you some of the videos I listen to and you know the ones I watch and the CDs that I listen to and the books that I read. It is a continuous game. It is not something that's going to happen one day and it's done. You know, this journey of life, it's a very serious one. I just wish we all could understand this. If you don't develop yourself, I mean yourself, your life will not develop. If you don't put knowledge into yourself, you're not going to make any changes in life. And then you're going to go through life bitter, angry, upset, finding faults with everyone and with everything. So this is why the sooner you start understanding how your mind works, the better your life is going to be so welcome all my friends on um, instagram we're actually videoing this for youtube so we'll just give you a, a hint of what's going to go on and then because you know me when i start my talking i just go on so we don't want to keep you for too long but the main purpose of today is helping you understand the value of books and why I would suggest and seriously recommend that you start looking into developing your mind. Your mind, I, I like to call it the kitchen of the house. You know, you know when you go into the kitchen and that's where you cook, and once you cook the food, then you're able to eat, and that food becomes what makes you strong and ready to face the world. That's what books does to our mind. Once you put knowledge into your mind, put knowledge into who you are, you are able to make changes in your life. You're able to move mountains, so to say. Because that same mind that we have, which is who we are, if you don't put improvement into it, if you don't change your perspective on the things you're dealing with, nothing's going to change. I know what they say that, you know, like, um, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, then that's what they call madness. Because you cannot keep repeating the same action all the time and expecting that the result should be different. So how do we get our mind to start understanding how we can change things? It starts with the, the food that we feed our mind. And sometimes, I, you know when they say food for thoughts? You have to feed your mind. And how do we feed our minds? You know, like sometimes, uh, um, think of your body as this is you you want to you want to keep your body going you want to be strong you want to have energy to do the things you want to do what do you do with the body what you do is you get food and eat 
you you go to the kitchen you cook something or you go into the restaurant you eat something or you go into the shop and you buy some snacks when you've eaten and your belly is full you're able to carry on your task the same thing applies to our mind if we don't put knowledge into our mind our mind is hungry and what i like to say to people is it's like if you allow your mind to be empty and you don't feed it with knowledge what happens the devil finds you job the devil will engage you and you know when you hear devil it's not a physical person it's just what's going on in our mindset and i'm sure you will you you know ideas come to you thoughts come to you now those thoughts may be positive or they may be negative and when they're negative that's when you hear the devil spoke to you and when they're positive that's when you hear god is speaking to you so if you don't give give your mind something to think about something to engage it something to get excited about what you're going to find is that negative thought will start appearing and you know now that we live in this technology age where everything is right now they call it the insta age being instagram being facebook being um, linkedin being twitter everything is happening in real time and life and right now we tend to be watching other people we're watching other people and we see where they go and we see what they wear and we see how they're getting on and they're smiling and they're looking happy and suddenly that is not happening in our lives so what then happens we start getting angry and then we might start looking for excuses what are the excuses oh you know when i went to work uh, my boss hates me and that's why uh, i lost the job or uh, you know my school nobody likes me because and we find every excuse why something is not happening my you know my husband and i were having problems because there's no money in the house or um you know you you can dream up anything and this is because we are just looking for what we can blame why our life hasn't happened the way we wanted it to happen so the best way about changing all of these things is to start looking for how you can improve your life how you can empower your mind because that's one of the biggest things i stand for empowering your mind you know enriching it giving it what will help it to grow and think well and you know be useful to people around you and one of the best ways is from reading books and I I'm going to start showing you some of these books but before I go into that let me explain again why books are absolutely necessary okay so for some of us um, we go to school and when we go to school you know like for the Americans you call it college and for us here in in uh, Europe and UK we say university so let's let's say you've gone past secondary school primary school and now university you've done that and you know how tedious that can be so you spent all these years in school you know four years five years depending on the course you've taken and they're very strenuous and you have all these assignments i would know because i'm doing a course right now and i know how tedious it is so you're doing all of that and you get your passes and sometimes people get distinction and people get first class and amazing results and okay you can get the basic one third class second class but you finish all of that and you know what then happens to most of us we now think hi 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 everywhere everyone waving i'm waving back thank you so much for watching so we get these results and then we think we we get into real life and we we look for a job now what most of us tend to think is we finish our education Oh my gosh look at how hard it was it was difficult it was tough i did all this research and i was writing all these theses and i was doing this and i was doing that yes you did all of that and now we've hit the real world and we're thinking there's a job waiting for us you know what i did all of this but you know what's funny what's funny is the world has so many people like this so many people who taking all this education and who are all looking for the same job and so where the problem is is if too many people are chasing the same thing if too many people are chasing the same thing do you know what normally happens what happens is then scarcity happens hence there's less jobs 
and then countries we, we tend to start getting angry and this happens a lot especially in Africa Nigeria where I come from so many educated people too few jobs to, to give them and so if this has happened what what then should we do but remember what you have told yourself is I finished education I've done all that reading I don't want to read anymore what, what do I need to read for what I'm looking for right now is money but what you're going to find is, uh, there was a book I read, I can't remember who wrote that book, but what the man said is, university, college, whatever you want to call it, is actually the beginning of your education. That is the beginning, not the end. So that's a big message for you today. It is the beginning of your education because after you finish with that, this is when you now need to really read. This is when you need to empower yourself. This is when you need to gain knowledge. And where will this knowledge come from? Knowledge will come from books. And that's why I am really, really here based on my research, my, 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 my curiosity about life, my searching and researching about life. You need to open books and read. You know what? When you do that, you start changing your perspectives about life that's how you start feeding your mind that's how things about you start to change that's how you don't repeat the same action and expect a different result because from watch from reading these books and sometimes watching movies helps some movies are amazing because for me when i watch movies i learn a lot of lessons from movies i get a lot of messages from movies i mean one of my favorite movies is um dr strange and another one the matrix when you watch movies like this messages are sent the way i see them they kind of come across like coded messages messages that they will not you know you know it's like when you read the bible and it's a parable and you're wondering what did jesus mean when he said this so this is when you then go to church and then a pastor explains it to you so when you watch a movie they are like coded messages some of these movies especially the 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 science fiction movies so when you watch it so many messages are at the background but he only takes a trained eye to get the message and how do you become a trained eye from reading books and from attending seminars from going to conferences from being part of what is happening in the world you do not lock yourself in your room and say i'm done with education and say i don't need any more training and say my life is amazing but meanwhile you're not achieving the things you want to achieve so reading books help you to change all of that reading books feed your mind feed your mind with positive information positive knowledge that starts to change the way you see things I'll tell you another bit about reading books that really excites me um you know when you take books and start reading uh, i'll tell you the best ones you can start looking at um biographies biographies of people that you really love so for instance oprah winfrey if you like her she stands out there she does her thing she's one of my favorite people so you get her book book on her to to have an idea how her life story has been going now if you do that what you're going to find is it will be similar you'll be like oh my gosh if she went through all of this and she achieved all of this then why can't i do that people like nelson mandela you read his story his background you go wow you know martin luther king people who are great people who have achieved things and you're like i want to achieve something in my life because trust me i mean there's another video i'm going to come out with your life is amazing your life is not ordinary but you know what happens we get here and things begin to happen to us things we are not expecting are happening and then we get we we start to get dampened we start to get depressed we, we start to get angry with the world and things start to change so when you read up about these people and you read stories and you get to know how difficult life had been for them one of the books i read as a child young child was um some a woman of substance barbara Cal i can't remember the title the, the author by woman of substance and there's another one cain and abel these books 
open my eyes about how life can change for you no matter how rough your beginning is and that's the kind of message i've carried on no matter how tough things get i am still there fighting and carrying on and taking on the struggle because life will not hand anything on a plate to you you have to earn it you have to fight for it you have to chase it and this is one of the things that has helped me this is why i would like to share this message with you because what then happens with books is somebody just like the you know the story i've just narrated you've been to the university or the college you finished you've done all you need to do you look for the job you can't find it you start to struggle you start to find your way around things and then eventually you achieve something but this is what happens people would like to make you believe that oh they just achieved it just like that i you know this is quite interesting because if you are from nigeria like me trust me when you ask your fellow nigerian who's achieved something in life how did you do it they always say nagodo now god is like it is god it is god that gave me all of this well that's fantastic we like to i mean everything i am is down to god god helps me but i will tell you how you know how the bible says god helps those who help themselves if you don't help god god will not help you that's as simple as it is so if you not sit there and you know you want to listen to a typical nigerian says to you now god oh and you just go back home and you're crying oh my gosh how come god is not helping me no matter what i'm doing so this is where you need to start changing your mindset because it is not just nagodo or it's not just godo god is ready to help you when you're ready to help yourself and this is the kind of things you'll be getting from books so this person has finished the university is struggling is and then they call it a process a process hi 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 thank you so much everyone watching lots of waves from me so the process is you take things slowly you start wondering how you can achieve it you you start reading other people's stories you start attending seminars you start attending workshops you start thinking what can i do to change my life i don't want to keep running and begging for jobs because yes you get jobs and jobs will go and i'll tell you my story i i finished okay i finished with nigeria and i came over here and i started from zero i'm telling you zero you know when you enter a new country and you don't know where anything is that was me i had people i thought i could rely on and everyone disappointed me okay a few people were there for me and i had to live with a friend for as long you know for a period but eventually i got a job and it was all struggles i was then i, I got pregnant and i had my baby and i'm rushing to drop her with the with a uh, minder and i'm rushing to go to school and i was learning everything i could learn and then eventually i got a job i got what i would call a good job and this was in telecoms and after i finished you know carried on the job i think it was about three years or four years and suddenly the job packed up why because the job had gone into redundant um, um what do they call bankruptcy and i was i was laid out by this time and had three kids my life was an absolute mess what what could i do then i lost everything i lost everything i built at that stage my home you know the cars whatever it is you're thinking you you normally will have when you've achieved something and then i had to start all over again and that's when i went into hair because again it was something it was a passion i had and i traveled the world trying to gain this skill and i started practicing and achieving and practicing i mean if you've been watching my channel you would have heard my story over and over but you see for me it doesn't end there for me i need more i need to add more value to lives i need to empower people more i need you know where the hair is about empowering your hands but with joyfila international is about empowering your mind it's about enriching you and so i started searching and i went into what I, what they call neuro linguistic programming to understand how the mind works and that has been a journey that i've been on so what then helps you when you start what happens when you start reading books what happens is like the kind of story i've just told you i've taken years to achieve all of this so one day i'm going to write my book yes that's going to happen 
But what then happens is I will condense all of my experiences. I will condense all of my knowledge. I will put all of that. I'll tell you the steps that I've taken. And then I'll put it all in one book. So you see what happens when you buy that book and sit down and read it. What's happening is you've gained my knowledge of 20, 30 years, depending on who. And that's what they call the process. And when you take on things like this, what you, what's happened is you gain my knowledge plus your knowledge and you have become a better person. Because now you've understood how I went about achieving things. So this is what I find when I buy books and read. I gain knowledge of people who have taken years to achieve what they've achieved and they put it all in one book. And I'll give you an example of one of these books that I'm talking about. This is a book called um, The Fast Lane Millionaire. The Millionaire Fast Lane. Millionaire Fast Lane. So this was introduced to me by one of my friends. This book is amazing. This man explains, you really should buy this book. I mean, I don't know him, but the story he's given here really hit me in the core. He's explaining how there are three major types of people. There's one he calls the slow lane, and then there's one he calls um, the fast lane. And I think there's a third lane, um, the, the sidewalk, the sidewalker. So sidewalker, slow lane, and fast lane. So sidewalker is where most of us belong to what happens we buy we, we just want to buy every little penny we have we put it into something we're just buying for the fun of it and we don't stabilize ourselves in life he went through that and then he realized that it wasn't getting him getting him anywhere he wanted to better his life so and then the, the slow lane is people who they try all they can you know professionals you work hard and you work hard and you work hard and then you know when it, it finally happens when you're like 60 or 70 or 80 that's when for some people especially professionals that's when their life starts to pick up that's when they then have the money but by this time they're close to that so fast lane is completely different life changes if you understand this the process about it he talks about process really well and you would know when somebody's read something it's a, if you look into this you see places where i've underlined some of the interesting things that i've found why is this so important this man has spent years trying to make sense with his life and then what he's done he's put it all in a book now i feel privileged to be in a position to hear his story because now i'm picking up the hints and tips from what he said and it's going to help me improve my life this is the kind of thing that i wish for everyone out there this is the kind of thing that mind development means so if you now start picking up hints and tips like this and you start acting on it in your life this is how you're going to get a different way of seeing life this is how you're going to empower your mind because now you've got an idea you've got an idea you've got hints you've got hints and now suddenly you're acting differently suddenly you're behaving differently suddenly you're seeing things differently this is what the power of books gives you so what i did recently because i never stopped ordering books i mean <laughs> I'm sure by now the um, people in Amazon, which is where I buy books from, you know, all these, these are all Amazon, Amazon uh, um, envelopes. They're just all over the place. I get them, you know, bits and bobs and every day I'm ordering one book or the other. I, you know, I guess what you probably ask is, when do you have the time to read it? When do I have the time to read it? Now, what happens is as I'm going to school, remember I said I'm doing another course. As I'm going to school and I'm sitting in the train, my train takes about two, three hours to get me to where I'm going. So that's when I read my books. Because by the time I'm coming back again, another two, three hours, then I come back and I get home, I'm done with books. Because when I get home, then I have to deal with my children, then I have to deal with things going on, I have to respond to things, I have to do my assignment. So it's just like constantly something happening. But you have to create time to read it. I mean, I, I had a lecturer once and he was like, even when you're going into a toilet, mm, okay, uh, yes, he said, you cannot give him, give him an excuse why you can't read. 
because when you're in the toilet sitting down now all of us have the tablets we have the the phones that you know all the smartphones that does anything you want why can you go in there and be reading things you can't because again they got all these online courses that are even free so you can read up so much in every little spare time you have now remember what we're talking about our minds are getting bitter and getting negative and all of that if you engage your mind if you engage your mind and you're constantly putting the right thoughts the right ingredients you know it's like when you're trying to cook and your ingredients are right your food will come out right isn't it that's what happens so if you don't put the right thoughts into your mind guess what happens what will happen is it will not be good ideas that will come to your head your, your feelings will not be the right ones you you're still going to be angry you're still going to be bitter you're still going to blame the whole world for everything that goes wrong in your life so it is best to start creating time to do this really and buy as much books as you possibly can i'll give you another hint when you start reading the one book what happens is that one then talks about another book so you know how life life is continuous you know i just mentioned nessie mandela i mentioned uh, um oprah winfrey i talked about uh, uh, uh martin luther king now if you if you start following oprah you will see that she starts to talk about books that she reads as well so there is no one person that's an expert at anything there is not one person so everybody gets support from other people so if you want to grow your life it's not going to be one person that's what i advise everybody because you know how when we went to the college and went to the university we thought that was when school ended no or our education ended you need to continuously keep in touch with so many other people who have actually experienced life and have dealt with it and now know what they're doing in their life so these are some of the books that came in the post now this is one of the my favorite people at the moment anthony robbins and anthony robbins is huge he does seminars he does workshops he does events he does see he has cds he has dvds um recently I, I got two of his cds and i've been listening to them and you know my trick i just put it on when i'm about to sleep so i'm listening i'm half asleep and half listening now this is the best time that your subconscious is taking messages you might you know you might think oh yeah but i really need to sleep deep sleep fine you may sleep off and it won't matter but at least you're hearing something that is going to be engaging your mind to think in the right part so cds are absolutely brilliant if you feel having time to open a book and read is not your thing so Anthony Robbins right now is one of the people I'm really listening to and another thing with him if you decide to attend his workshops or his seminars they're not cheap I'm telling you um, you're looking at at least three thousand pounds four thousand pounds five thousand seven thousand pounds so they are really expensive I mean about the cheapest one of my friend who's going says eight thousand I mean eight hundred pounds so now when you attend his events you will come out a changed person your mindset will completely change so but the quick way about it if you haven't got that kind of money at the moment is to get his cds and to get his books so if you go on amazon loads and loads of books on anthony robbins uh this is another interesting one and again i got it from reading other books psycho cybernetics quite interesting now what i like this about this book is about understanding that the human being is the same across board so the what what that brain is that god gave all of us is the same and one of the one of my videos is going to touch on that we really need to understand that life nobody is better than the other person but you see especially us black people we have struggled over the years to clear that in our head and it takes a huge mind development to cross that bridge because when you live in countries where the 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 you are like a minority what happens wherever you go people are picking on you your accent is wrong 
your color is wrong your hair is not right so you're dealing with negatives and negatives and negatives you see most people in places of work they get redundancy comes at the first just because of their color um they're the first to be uh, uh, sacked from their job just because of their color if they do something slightly wrong they'll be sacked something that another person will do and have no problem you try it you'll be thrown out so how do you manage how do you understand that how do you deal with that because it creates a psychological problem in your head you're thinking something is wrong with me i'm not good enough i'm not as good as the rest of the people but when you read books that start to explain to you your power you will see yourself exploding that's what one of that's what this particular book is about so this one conversations with god I have not read it, but again, I got this message from one other book and I am excited. I want to read that. Okay, this one wasn't really based on development, but it's a course I'm doing, which is travel. And so travel, I have so many books on my travel course because there's a lot I'm going to be doing that. Um, this one, Closing the Vocabulary Gap, this is just about, you know, writing because again, I'm going into writing very soon which i'm going to be looking really clearly how to get my books ready so this is about psychology science of mind and behavior but of course this is a course in itself psychology again people go to university to study that but i just want to have better understanding on my own this singularity is near this guy ray ray coswell interesting guy he apparently works for google and he he has been predicting all the things that's going to happen that's happening in the world he predicted the ai's i don't know if you know about the ai's um artificial intelligence this this time they're having the human beings that they've created or machines that look like human being talk like human being everything like human being so guys i'm gonna have to stop here with you guys because our battery is gone okay so the singularity is near um ray Coswell. coswell so he's about predicting what life is coming to be um all the you know technology that's coming and all of that so i got really curious again i found out about this from one of the workshops i went to no seminar so i'm just starting to read his book he's written quite a lot on so many topics so mostly um technology based um to sell is human now this title really excited me because again i i love to share my knowledge with the world but you see what tends to happen is when you start telling people buy people think oh no why should i buy i haven't got money i mean for me i look at buying and selling in two different ways i buy i buy something that will help me grow so you see all these books I'm showing you, I didn't pick them from Amazon. They were not free. I marched in there. I mean, I go online and I order the books and they come and I sit down and I read it because I know it's going to add value to my life. And when I have value and I'm sharing my value, it's only fair that someone else should say, okay, I like the value you shared with me. I want to do something with it. And you give me something in return. And this is where, you know, like our training that we keep talking about all the time, our home training DVD, which we had taken time to put together all of this. It took me years to create this. You know what I was telling you about books and knowledge and experiences? It took me years to put all of this together, my years of experiences, and I put it all in one package. And I'm saying, if you want to do something with hair, buy this. It will change your life. And then it becomes... It, 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 people then feel like you're trying to play smart on their intelligence or you're trying to give them something they don't need or whatever but you know what I said earlier if you keep repeating the same thing in your life and you don't change anything you will still keep getting the same results I mean what I've understood now about life and buying being human is if you go and invest i call it investment if you invest in something that's tangible something that you know this is i know what i'm investing in and want some result out of it you will see something that will change too in your life it will shift so that's why i enjoy buying these books 
that's why i go to seminars if i show you my bank statement the amount of money i have spent on seminars these are one day two day seminars they're not cheap three thousand pounds four thousand pounds i was just telling you about anthony robbins so if you want to shift something in yourself you have to invest you have to put something down and that's the same way God says it. He says you have to, you have to, you, um, you reap what you sow. So if you don't put something down, nothing will grow. Nothing will come out. So that's why when I saw that title, I was really excited. I'm going, I need to read this and really understand how this man sees the buying thing. And then again, this was one of the books from one of my friends. She recommended to read five things successful people do before 8 a.m. Terry surveil foy i actually ordered that one from the u.s because they don't have it here in the uk so she's reading it my friend and she says it's really helpful for her it's helping her change patterns in her life so i had to get that richard branson one of my favorite people as well really really one of my favorite people because i did i did um i did a research on his company in, in my course and I found out so much about him when he started his business. It's not his business, it's called Virgin. Virgin was, he goes into businesses that he has not done before or businesses that he doesn't have any experiences in. And then, because he's gone in there with, with a completely different view, he sees it from another angle and he comes there to solve problems in that industry. And a good example was when he did the Virgin Trans um, uh, 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 Travels transatlantic uh, uh, um, holidays and uh, uh, there was British Airways but British Airways was like oh why are you going into um, uh, travels what do you know you've never done it it's not your industry and they were really laughing at him and making fun of him he's never gonna make it but look at Virgin today it's one of the biggest airlines you can think of and then he's grown into so many areas so I I really adore this man and you know the thing with him is he he does things differently he doesn't do things the way everybody does it so this title was quite interesting it goes screw business as usual so i thought yeah why not and there's another one uh another of his book i have is called like a virgin or something like that so he he brings things that you're not thinking about and that's what's really made him stand out and he absolutely loves his business he loves his staff he treats everyone everybody well um he kind of sees them as a family he gives them the free hand to do things and then just tell him what they are doing and why they're doing it and for him it's like what's the point of employing smart people if you're not going to give them freedom to you know apply their smartness or intelligence so he is one of my people one of the people i love to look at his business model and how he does things so Richard Branson, top there on the list. Uh, this one says Persuasion by Robert Caldini. Um, how you can uh, work with people and influence them. So again, you're going into business, persuasion. You're going into business, you want to be able to understand people and how you can deal with them and how you can uh, you know, make them understand where you're coming from or what you're trying to share with them. That's why I bought that. And so... Um, this is quite another interesting one the writing revolution which is what i'm also explaining about going into writing um so i just need to have other people's perspectives about writing and all of that um so so this is what this is about you know create for yourself a nice little library i have so much books to read i read some of them you remember we did our 40 day um the purpose driven life so I enjoy hearing other people's experiences. I enjoy listening. I enjoy being part of their life because when you read a book, it's kind of like you're, you're touching their life. It's kind of like you're behind the scene, seeing it from their eyes and, and knowing what they went through. So now when you have that opportunity, why won't you, why won't you think like that person? So, remember what we're saying about the mind that our mind is where everything happens so if you have been able to embrace your mind and give it the right food which is um these ideas and once you do that what you find is 
what comes out will equally be fruitful what comes out will be fulfilling what comes out will be enriching what comes out will be you know about growth it will be about development you will not be sitting down and worrying about other people anymore there, there's a book that i've shown you on this channel as well called the science of the science of getting rich or something like that and one of the things he said that was really touching is that mind that we have is like a gold mine it, it says it's like um a, a vast open land that, that 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 you know fertile vast open fertile land a land that you can plant anything and it will grow now that is amazing why i could relate with that so easily is because as a child my dad we we were in this neighborhood where you know my dad was given just vast plots of land to do whatever he fancied with and what he did was he 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 used to you know like share little little plots and you know like when you're in school and you have your own little garden that's how it was and each of us had our little garden to plant things and we were just planting whatever came to our mind we had okra we had peppers we had vegetables we, we planted all types of things and that made me understand the minute this man said vast open fatal piece of land i said i get what you're saying now whatever thoughts the, the the you know the seeds that we put in where are the thoughts that goes into our mind so whatever thoughts that comes to you and you support that thought and you encourage that thought that's like when you water your plant and it will grow and you keep you know watering and you keep supporting that thought you you by this time you're beginning to research you're beginning to ask questions you're beginning to find out how to push this thought out and make it something bigger that's the kind of mind we all have so we have the power to make our life amazing we have it but because so many things go on in our lives and we are not push we're not pushing ourselves anymore we then get left behind we, we then get stuck and then we then begin begin to become bitter and angry and we then take it out on everyone around you i mean I, it's so weird because sometimes I, I deal with friends and family members who, you know, the, I, I, read, I read something the other day, say, if someone helps you from not having anything, because you don't know where, what their situation is, but this person helped you. He said, that's no longer help, that is love. And I thought, this is amazing. Because if you follow me on Instagram, you see that I put all these positive messages on. When somebody is helping you, you don't know that person's situation. And so you should be grateful. You should say to the person, oh, thank you so much for helping me. But you know what happens? Some people just, why? Because they live in their own world. And then they look at you from a distance and they think, she's having so much fun. Her life is amazing. She's so happy. Look at her. She's all over the place. She's gone. And then whatever you do, they don't appreciate it. Because in their head, they think you have more than you've given them. And look at how much fun you're having. Why are you not just spoiling me and giving me anything I want? But it's so, it's so funny. Because you don't know that person's situation. And that happens to me all the time. People look at me and think, oh yeah, she's having such a ball. But I spend time understanding my mindset. I spend time researching. I spend time reading and i don't let anything hold me down i don't let anything stop me i've been through you can you can well imagine i i, I mean sometimes i come here and i share the things i go through with you but i've been through so much but i don't let it weigh me down i don't let it make me bitter i don't let it make me angry you know why because life is so short this life we live in is too short it's not something we should mess around with it's not something we should go through life angry because you know what imagine your last day and then you get back to god and he says how much fun did you have where i sent you and you go you know what god i never really had any fun because i was too bitter that everybody else was enjoying and i wasn't now how would i feel because you really need to make the best of the life that god has given you we, we don't know when we don't know how we don't know when it'll be over you know like i've said a few times I've, I've lost a lot of relatives who some of them were really young 
when they passed and then it puts me in that position where I keep asking but what did they really achieve and so that's really kind of like you know how for some people when people pass or when they die um, they, they get depressed and they get down for me that actually inspires me you know why because I know that one day will be my turn and then what would I say to God that I achieved I want to be able to say you know what I was able to share knowledge with the world I was able to share messages that you gave me because each time you have something in, you know you share with the world that's a piece of God that you put out something positive that's a piece of God so remember to keep giving out keep sharing keep learning because the thing with our mind is if you throw out what you know is 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 the same way everything in life when you give you receive the bible says that when you give you receive so if you throw out everything you know you get more more will be coming your way more will be coming your way so there's no point you thinking if i give i will not get again no the more you give the more you're going to receive so that's why i love to give because as i'm given god replenishes so thank you so much for watching today i hope i've shared some message with you i hope you've been able to pick up something off me but you know what live your life well live well and love well and thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video